it was a matter of bringing together a team who also had some areas that they wanted to explore in terms of sexuality. So Glennis was really interested in looking at Pūrāko or the way in which the creation stories talked about relationships for us and bringing them through into now and exploring those. Linda was really interested in looking at notions of body. She'd been following up on the cancer inquiry from you know, a few years ago and she wanted to follow through on that. But also a part of what she wanted to do was talking about how particularly um, her mothers and you know, aunties generation talk about their bodies, the words that they use, and the way in which as Māori woman, older Māori woman, we tend to use words that almost remove us from our bodies. So she was really interested in that, in particular in how, if you relate that to the cancer inquiry, in terms of, if we talk about ourselves in ways that kind of remove ourselves from our bodies, so we say, you know, there's something wrong down there, how then do we explore cervical cancer with doctors? I mean, that's a really, I mean, it may seem a long way apart, but in actual fact, they're very close together. How do we then go to a doctor, a GP, and explore things like cancer, cervical cancer, breast cancer, if actually we can't talk about our bodies or we don't talk about our bodies? And I was really intrigued by that too. Clive has done a lot of work in HIV AIDS and the impact on Māori communities, and so he was really wanting to do work around that. And then as I said, I have my own interests around um, what was happening for Takata Pui Māori, but also what was happening in terms of how we saw whānau. Uh, because I think whānau has become, um, has been viewed as being family, and they're not the same thing. Because family is a colonial idea about a nuclear family, and whānau is much broader than that. So those are the things that each of the research team brought to the project and it then began to grow from there as we began to develop the proposal.